Hi, I'm Joe Ortiz, and in this video, I'll be presenting ISDF, Real-Time Neural Sign Distance Fields with Robot Perception. In this work, we tackle the real-time reconstruction of sign distance fields. On the left, we show the inputs, the depth images and pose of a camera moving in a room. On the right, we show the output, the reconstructed sign distance field produced by training a neural network in a continual learning manner. Here we show slices of the ground truth sign distance field for the room. A sign distance field maps x, y, z coordinate to the distance in the closest surface. Positive values outside of surfaces are colored blue and green, and negative values inside surfaces are pink and purple. Here we are visualizing the level sets in a slice of the field. The surface is encoded by the zero level set. Sign distance fields are commonly used in robotics, in particular in motion planning for manipulation and navigation. They're a useful representation as they can easily be transformed into a collision cost field, for example, by applying the hinge loss, as shown here. Although truncated sign distance fields are common in SLAM systems, such as Connect Fusion, reconstructing full non-truncated sign distance fields for room scale environments is challenging. A simple depth fusion gives large errors. Other related works have tackled reconstructing full SDFs for objects or for larger scenes. However, these methods are not real time. We focus on reconstructing full sign distance fields for large scenes in real time. Voxblox is the most notable prior work tackling this same problem. Voxblox is based on a voxel grid and takes a two stage approach. First, reconstructing the surface, shown here in gray and then using an expensive wavefront propagation algorithm to compute the sign distances. In contrast, ISTF is based on a neural sign distance field that is trained in real time, giving it a number of positive characteristics compared to prior work. A key property of ISTF is that it is predictive. ISTF can sensibly fill in partially observed regions to produce a complete zero level set. Additionally, ISDF is capable of sensibly completing the backsides of objects, such as this beanbag, and denoising many noisy measurements, such as on this wall. A second key property of ISDF is that it is efficient. Unlike voxel grids, it can adaptively model different parts of the scene with different levels of detail, producing accurate object reconstruction, such as this lamp, all with just five megabytes of memory. Here we explain our supervision method for training the neural sign distance field. To generate query points, we first select keyframes using important sampling and back project rays at random pixels in the frames. The network is queried at points sampled along these rays and the loss is computed by bounding the predicted sign distance. The simplest bound is the distance along the ray to the surface. Here we color points according to this bound. We instead propose to use the distance to the closest surface point in the batch to bound the prediction. The closest surface point is a much tighter bound, providing stronger supervision. To see how this bound is computed, we here focus on a single ray and show the vectors to the closest surface point in the batch for each point on the ray. These vectors can also be used to supervise the spatial gradient of the predicted sign distance. Here we now show results for one scan net sequence and one replica CAD sequence. 